Aquino University's ILR school and Yangtan Institute's impact is being felt in Long Island. Meet 2016 ILR graduate and Nassau County legislator Joshua Lafazan. ILR instilled in me that in whatever field I would seek, I would make sure that social justice had an important crux of my work. And I think that ILR set me on a path to, to, to fight for those who need voice. Lavazan was a guest at the spring 2018 Partners in Policymaking in-person session in Long Island. Partners is a leadership training and advocacy program for individuals with developmental disabilities that is run by the Yangtan Institute. Hearing directly from individuals with disabilities and from their caretakers about what government can do to enhance their lives is priceless, and that's why I'm here at 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Two days after being at the Partners event, Lafazan announced a significant legislative proposal that he is sponsoring. At every emergency press conference Nassau County has, an American Sign Language interpreter must be present so that those who are deaf or hard of hearing can access the same critical emergency information as all 1.3 million residents in Nassau County. It was important for me that this was the first piece of legislation I filed because I want to be the voice in Nassau County and I want to be the voice across Long Island that fights for individuals with disabilities. Lafazan credits ILR and the executive director of the Yangtan Institute for his disability-centered focus. Professor Thomas Golden changed my life. Uh, in my senior year, I took disability employment policy with Professor Golden, and he instilled in me that if I wanted to seek a life in public service, that the most important thing, or one of the most important priorities I would have as a policymaker would be to fight and advocate for those who are most vulnerable in our society. And I made a pledge to him in his class that if I was successfully elected to any public office, I would make this a priority.